Hey guys, we got a hell of an adventure today. It is Sunday, February 4th. I just grabbed me a plane ticket out of Palm Springs heading to Detroit. Uh, I gotta go jump on a plane. Um, from there, it's gonna take me to Phoenix. From Phoenix, I've only got about a half hour layover to run and jump on my plane. That'll take me to Detroit the rest of the way. I'll get there about 1.30 in the morning. Um, once I get there, I think I'm gonna go straight to a hotel sleep till early morning and then go down pick up the rally fighter myself and we'll go from there uh, hopefully everything goes smooth picking up the car it's not ideal I don't have anybody that's gonna be riding along with me so it's just gonna be me um, hopefully everything goes well and we'll go from there okay guys we are pulling into the airport now as soon as we figure out where the terminal is to drop me off I'll be heading in and hopefully get through security quickly and get ready to find my flight. I've flown out of a lot of airports and something I found really unique here about the Palm Springs Airport is we're in the concourse right now and as you can see it's an outdoor concourse so it's kind of nifty definitely something I've never ran into while traveling. Hey guys we just got here to the Detroit Airport don't know really where I'm going yet I think the plan is a hotel tonight and then straight down to Sylvania tomorrow. Yes, thank you for the ride. Alright, thank you for the guys, we just got here to Best Western. Um, I don't actually know where this place is at, but it's someplace near the airport. Oh, all my change is falling out of my pocket. One thing I'm gonna have to say, I haven't seen snow in a while. I really don't miss the snow. Like, I mean, I seen some up at Big Bear, but it wasn't actually this cold. I went from at, let's see, Palm Desert today was like 87 to 90, somewhere in that range. And when we landed, the airplane guy said that it was seven. It's a little ridiculous. Time for me to get some shut eye because I got an early day tomorrow and a long, long ass drive. Hey guys, good morning. We're on our way to go pick up the car and actually just a couple minutes ago the shipping co company called me. They had a truck that was here to pick it up. They couldn't bother to tell me that, you know, before I left. So I'm still going to go ahead and pick it up and I'm going to drive it back myself. It'll make for more of an adventure. Because they're 50 miles away and they can get it in there. The problem with the guy that came Friday, we could have got it in there. But what he didn't want to do was, I told him, I said, hook it up with the winch on the front, pull it in there, and then use the ratchet strips to hold it down in the back because it was so narrow, he couldn't have gotten out of it. Right. So, but. Here it is, guys, the new car. They're trying to talk me out of it, which if I told my wife, I'm guaranteed she would too. <laughs> I mean. Hey guys, they convinced me. I'm just gonna let the shipping company take it. Um, I really wanted to drive it across, but as they said, I don't know the car, and if I'd have a like a tire or something go, it's going to be obnoxious, especially trying to haul ass back home. So I guess I'm turning around, jumping on another flight, and heading straight back to Palm Springs. Okay guys, I'm kind of in love with this thing. Hey guys, we just left Central Classic Cars. Uh, like I said before, I'm not actually driving the car across the country this time. The shippers are supposed to be picking it up. So now I'm on my way back to the Detroit airport and we have Jeremy here as our Uber driver. Hey guys. He has been quite pleasant so far. Um, I guess we got ourselves about another hour trip, give or take, back up to the airport. Uh, sorry you guys didn't get to see the car running yet. I got it cranked over at least for you, but you know. So, the shippers are saying it's supposed to be there between Friday and Saturday. Hey right, guys, we're just getting here to the airport. We've had a wonderful ride oh, with yeah. Jeremiah. Great, great conversation. Yes. He's been a great Uber driver. If you're ever around Sylvania, Ohio area, Detroit Toledo. area, Toledo, Toledo area. If you get him, you've definitely got a lot to look forward to. He's had great conversation and definitely an interesting fella. 
Hey guys, we're back in the Detroit airport and I'm heading up to my gate. I've got quite a while that I gotta blow. Nothing I really wanted to see in Detroit, so I figured I'd just come straight to the airport. Uh, yeah, so we got about five hours, so I'm gonna start editing a video for y'all and probably find me something to eat. I got a little bit bored while I was in here. I've already walked around the whole place a couple times. Did what I thought I could do and I just couldn't edit in here. Too much going on, at least for me. So we're here at the airport where you've got a little bit till we get on our plane. It's been delayed by about 40 minutes, so yeah. Um, I think we've got like 15 minutes left till we get on. However, we only had about 35 minutes to get between the planes at our next stop. So, it's looking like I'm probably going to miss the layover. Um, hopefully they hold it for me. I know there's a few other people heading that way too. I don't know if they will. So, I was supposed to get home about 9.15, 9.30 tonight. Not really looking that way at this point, but we'll see what happens. Hey guys, just got into Palm Springs here. Just got off the plane. Had a good flight for that one. It was only 45 minutes, so not bad at all. Hopefully Kayla's around somewhere to pick me up. Hey guys, thanks for coming along with me on that little adventure. As usual, I forgot to do my sign off. But I had a, you know, it was a good time. It was something, time waster if nothing else, those flights and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and come again. Shortly we'll have that rally fighter.